What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. I told you it was coming if you watch my channel and follow it. I was going to do this comparison and I finally want to go ahead and show you guys a size comparison between the new S20 Ultra, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, and the Samsung Galaxy Fold, as well as even the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. So let's scoot all these together and you can see just how all these compare. I'm going to go ahead and pull the uh, Ultra out of the case really quick and give you guys a fresh side-by-side -side look. So here we go. As you can tell right off the bat, this phone is a beast. Aside from the Z Flip, this is the tallest of the bunch. It doesn't even compare to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let me go ahead and show you these right here. Now, we know, obviously, just how much larger of a screen that this has. You're talking about a 6.5 inch panel on the iPhone, as opposed to a 6.9 inch panel on the new Galaxy S20 Ultra. So, really, pick your poison, see what you like. This still feels heavy, uh, excuse me, a little lighter than actually the iPhone does, but you can see that drastic size comparison between the two. So let's go ahead and set this one down for a second and I'll show you the Z Flip now. Now obviously these are two of Samsung's latest and greatest. This has the 6.9 inch panel like we said and this has a 6.7 inch panel. Difference being that obviously you can fold that into a much more compact package than what you're getting on the S20 Ultra. It's really up to you guys what you prefer between the two. Uh, Size-wise, I really don't think either are too, too tall. But uh, again, that's just my personal opinion between them. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below for that. And then, of course, we have the Mac Daddy of them all. The Galaxy Fold, the, origina the originator, the OG folding phone. And you can see the fold is just so much more narrow on this one. So, yeah. You can definitely, definitely tell there is a huge discrepancy between how narrow they are uh, on the Fold and then the actual Ultra. It is significantly, significantly larger. What do you guys think design-wise? I'm really curious. Between all these different form factors, I mean, we have your standard candy bar phones being the iPhone and the uh, S20 Ultra. We have your vertical flip excuse me, vertical fold on um, obviously Samsung's Galaxy Fold or the fold on obviously the new Z Flip. Leave a comment down below guys, let me know, I'm really curious. You can see all these different manufacturers are trying something different to stand out now. I personally don't have a preference necessarily, I really do like the potential to have that larger screen real estate between foldable devices. I hope they do something with it on the next Galaxy Fold. I'm not a super fan on the Z Flip. I do like how compact it is, but I don't like how there's no real external display, and I don't like how really narrow and tall this design is. But aside from that, guys, they are all great devices. You can't go wrong with any of them. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is that you're looking at over a $1,000 price point for all of these devices. Obviously, with the original Fold, you're pushing 2000 So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.